then seeing the water cycle. So here I go. Water cycle by a bit dungle. After some hot days, it gets cold. Do you know why? Hmm, why is that? Mm. Well, you have one guess. Okay, so is it because, uh, um, uh, is it because of the wind? No. It is because when it is hot, water from oceans evaporates and condenses to form clouds. Eventually, the clouds get so big that it starts to rain or snow. And the whole process starts over again. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Yeah. So why do the water condenses? Evaporation, evaporated water condenses. Warm air rises up and cool air sinks down. So that means, so warm air, when well, warm air rises up, it, it, it gets cooler. That means when you go higher, it gets cooler. So water vapor condenses to form clouds. Uh -huh. And what is evaporation? It means that a substance, I mean a liquid turns into a, a vapor. Uh -huh. And why, why does the rain fall from the cloud? Why it precipitates? Um, when so it, when a cloud is formed, it may come and contact with more vapor, making it bigger. Eventually, they get so big that they can't hold the water, so they burst, releasing the water. Uh -huh. And then, where, where does that water go? The water goes into the rivers. Ah, and then? And then it gets back to the oceans. As I get it, so I'll explain why in cold when after some cold days it gets back to hot days in part two. Okay, thank you very much. That was a very nice presentation. Thank you, Avik. And just to remind you, there is going to be a part two. Thank you.